So all of these are in lovely vertex form where we can pluck the vertex right out. Uh, because the transformations take the opposite when it's grouped in like this, so it'll be a 1 and then a negative 3. So this one will be 1, negative 3, and I'll just do all the vertices, right? So there's nothing happening to x, so that's 0 and a 4, and then negative 3 and 1, oops, negative 3 and 1, and then uh, negative 1 and 0. And four and two, and three and zero. So, got all the vertices. Um, and so, the direction you can tell because of the sign of the A term here. So, since it's negative, it's opening uh, down. Since it's positive, it's opening up. Since it's negative, it's opening down. Since it's positive, it's opening up. Since it's negative, it's opening down. Since it's uh, positive, it's opening up. There we go. And our axis of symmetry, if I start to plot this one, um, my vertex is 1, negative 3, and my parabola goes up and down, and so my axis of symmetry goes straight through the vertex. So the equation for your axis this is symmetry is always x equals whatever the x coordinate of the vertex is, right? That line has a lovely equation of x equals 1, x equals 1, all about that line. So we got x equals 1, and I'll just keep going for, the, for this one. So uh, our y-intercept is going to be um, always, for any graph, a y-intercept happens when the x is 0. So if I plug in 0 for this, I'll have negative 2 times 0 minus 1 squared minus 3, and that'll be what y is. So negative 1 squared is 1, times negative 2 is negative 2, minus 3 is minus 5. So we got to have a y-intercept of minus 5. And so I can plot that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's looking good. It's going to open down just like we thought it would. And because I have it, this axis of symmetry, it's nice and symmetric, I get points on the other side of my axis of symmetry for free. So if this is a point, then it's one away from the axis. I go one away from the axis on that side, and that'll be enough to get a nice, oops, I can go through dots, a uh, nice parabola. And so they ask for the number of x-intercepts here, and it never, ever crosses the x-axis, so there are no x-intercepts. On to the next. Uh, so if I plot my vertex, it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. My axis of symmetry goes right through my vertex, so the equation for my axis of symmetry is x equals whatever the x is in the vertex. My y-intercept always happens when the x is 0, so when the x is 0, my y is 1 half times 0 squared plus 4, so that's just 0 plus 4 is 4. Oh, haha, <laughs> we already have that, duh. But anyway, so now it's like, okay, I don't get any points on the side for free, so if I want to graph it, I might just need to make a little xy table to get a couple extra points. So maybe I'll plug in a 1 and a 2. So if I plug in a 1, I get 1 squared is 1, times a half is a half, plus 4 is 4.5. Four if I plug in a 2, 2 squared is 4, times a half is 2, plus 4 is 6. So I get 1 and 4. Four and a half and two and one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I get points on the other side of my axis of symmetry for free. So one, two, one, two, and it's one away, so it's one away on the other side. And we have a slightly fatter parabola than our standard parabola. If that value of a is a fraction smaller than one, uh, then it gets slightly fatter. Uh, so again, they ask us the number of x-intercepts, and it never ever crosses the x-axis, so it intercepts the axis zero times. There are no x-intercepts. On to the next. Uh, vertex negative 3, 1. My axis of symmetry goes straight through the vertex, so the axis of symmetry is always x equals whatever the x in the vertex is. Uh, my y-intercept is when x is 0, so y will be negative 0 plus 3 squared plus 1. So 3 squared is 9, negative 9 plus 1 is negative 8. So 
so when x is 0, y is negative 8. So when x is 0, y is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I've got a point, and I can get a point on the other side of the x-axis axis of symmetry for free. So this is 3 away, so I've got 3 away on the other side. Oh, he can't see any of that. So <laughs> this was 3 away, so I have 3 away on the other side. And now I have enough to graph my parabola. Uh, they asked for the number of x-intercepts. It crosses the x-axis twice, so there are two. If I wanted to find them, I can always get an x-intercept when the y is 0, right? The y would be 0 there and there. And I could set 0 equals negative x plus 3 squared plus 1. And this will probably give us kind of a gnarly number. Divide both sides by a negative, so we get 0 equals x plus 3 squared. Oh, well be okay. Take the square root of both sides, 0 equals x plus 3x, oh, x equals 3. Whoa, what did I do? Um, oh, how did that become a 0? Haha. <laughs> I divided by a negative, it's still a 1. And I took the square root, so it's plus or minus 1. So I've got a plus or minus 1 equals x plus 3. So if I subtracted 3, negative 3 plus or minus 1 equals x. So negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. Negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. So I've got x-intercepts of negative 2 and negative 4 if I wanted to plot. There we go. And we keep going. Uh, axis of symmetry is going to be x equals negative 1. x equals negative 1. Reason theme here. <laughs> and uh, so I've got negative 1, 0. Axis of symmetry goes straight through that x-axis. My y-intercept happens when the x is 0, so the y will be 2 times 0 plus 1 squared. 1 squared is 1, times 2 is 2, so when x is 0, the y is 2, when x is 0, the y is 2, and if you get a point on the other side of the x-axis for free, parabola, there we go. Alright, uh, my axis of symmetry will be x equals the x in the vertex, so if I plot this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, plot my axis of symmetry, my y-intercept will be when the x is 0, the y is going to be uh, negative 1 fourth times 0 minus 4 is negative 4 squared plus 2. Negative 4 squared is 16 times negative 1 fourth is negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. So y-intercept is 0, negative 2. And then I get a point on the other side of the axis of symmetry for free. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And upside down, fat parabola because of that, negative one-fourth. A uh, number of x-intercepts, it crosses twice, so two of them. I'm not going to bother to find them, we're just going to keep going. Uh, but if you wanted to find them, set that equal to zero and solve. Uh, let's see. So axis of symmetry, x equals three. So uh, vertex, three, zero. Axis of symmetry goes through the vertex. Uh, Y-intercept, when x is 0, the y is 1 third times negative 3 squared. Negative 3 squared is 9, times a third is 3. So the y-intercept should be 0, 3. 0, 1, 2, 3. Point on the other side for free. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And we draw our parabola. And again, not again, it, it just crosses once now. The x-intercept is just that one. And if you wanted to find it, you can actually read that. It's the same as the vertex is 3, 0. I realized I forgot to answer it up here. This was also a case where it just crossed the x-axis once. And if you wanted to name it, it was negative 1, 0. And there you have it.